Alright. Today we are going to disassemble, clean the fan and repaste this Acer Nitro 5AN515-43. We are going to use this Thermal Grizzly Cronaut Thermal Paste, which I got for 365 Philippine pesos from Shopee. You can find the product link from the video description below. This is it. 1 gram of a thermal paste for 365 pesos, but this should be very effective based on the reviews. We also need some tools to open the laptop of course. Okay. Let's begin with opening the laptop. We will need to remove these 11 screws from the back, so that we can take the cover off. I'll be cutting out from the video the boring part of me taking out all the 11 screws, but here are the 11 screws that I've taken out from the back cover, as evidence that there are indeed 11 of them. Now let's take out the back cover. Just use a plastic or any thin flat piece of something to unhook the back cover from the body. The front part is the best place to start. Once the front clip is loose, it will be easier to unhook the side clips. Once the front and side clips are out, you can easily lift the cover and unhook the back part. There we go. We now have the internals of the Nitro 5AN515-43 exposed here. We will need to disassemble the fan here later. But first things first, we will need to unplug the battery connection to avoid any accidental shortage or something from the motherboard. Let's remove the tape here securing the battery connector. Then we will need to push out the battery connector and pull it out. Alright. Now we're safe from any shortage. Using a paintbrush, let's clean out the internals by brushing off the dusts from the surface. Okay. Now we're ready to disassemble the fan. We will need to remove these 8 screws so we can lift out the fan along with the copper heat pipes. And again, I will be cutting the boring part of me unscrewing the screw. You can pause the video if you want to know where the 8 screws are located. When the all the screws are loose, you can simply lift up the whole fan and copper heat pipe module. Now we can see the thermal paste locations here. What a mess. There's too much thermal paste here. They look really dry now, which is probably the reason why the temperature of this Nitro 5 reaches 80 to 100 degrees Celsius, even on a normal use. Thankfully this over-applied dried thermal paste hasn't damaged the motherboard. You can see some of it already touching the other parts of the board. It's a good thing that I have already opened this up now. Using a dry paper towel or a thick tissue, let's wipe out all of the old thermal paste here. Wow. This is too much thermal paste. Aside from the thermal paste on the CPU, GPU, and the GPU memories here, we'll also need to clean and wipe out all the thermal paste from the copper heat pipes. It is really a mess right now. I'll again cut this thermal paste cleaning part as this might take a while. A few moments later. Alright. After about 20 minutes, I finally have cleaned out the old thermal paste. I have also disconnect the power source of the two fans. This one goes there. Well this one goes here. Just like the battery connector, just pull it out. Now we will need to unscrew these 8 screws again, to take out the fan from the copper pipes and grills. You may pause the video, to see the location of the 8 screws. I have removed one of the fan already, and as you can see here, the grill is already full of gunk and other dirt here. Let me take out the other screws, to lift the other fan up. More moments later. Here we go. This grill is disgusting. There's even more gunk here than the other side. See here, by just using my fingers, I can literally pick up the gunk. If you have a vacuum or a blower, it's better to use it to clean this. For me, I'll just use my reliable paintbrush in my mouth to blow the gunk out. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. Now the grills and fans are clean. Please note that aside from the grill that I've shown earlier, there's also another shorter grill at the side. Make sure to clean that up as well. That shorter grill even has double the gunk that I've shown earlier. It's now time to reassemble the fans. A few minutes later. I have screwed back these tiny screws of the fan. There are 8 screws here. So we are ready to put it back on its place. And by the way, let me show you that I also cleaned these parts where the nasty old thermal paste was before. And as you can see here, the CPU, the GPU, and its 4 memory chips here, are all squeaky clean now as well. Okay. Let's now put back the fan and heat pipe module. Let's plug in the power cable of the two fans first. Before we put a new thermal paste, let me do a final cleaning here using a rubbing alcohol and a towel. There were too much thermal paste previously, and I still see some of them in the tiny parts of the board, so let me clean them up first, just to be sure that there will be no circuit shortage here. Okay. I think that's clean enough. Let's now get our thermal grizzly thermal paste and open it up. Let me zoom in for a bit here so you can see clear. Let's apply it first to the CPU. Just add one small line at the top of the chip. Oops. I shouldn't have taken out the cylinder so fast. Let's wipe out the excess paste here. Okay. Now let's apply a pea-sized amount on top of the GPU. Oops. Another spill. Sorry, this is actually my first time to do this. 
let's wipe out the excess again. Now let's apply a smaller amount in the 4 GPU memory chips. There we go. Let's wipe out the excesses here to be sure that we don't short anything on the board. Now it's time to put back in the fan and heat pipe module. For some weird reason, the module is not going back into its place. Oh. I found the issue. This white wire is sticking out and blocking the proper placement of the fan and heat pipe module. Let's put this white wire back to its place. Now let's put back the module again. There we go. All good now. Let's now put back the 8 screws. There we go. All back into its proper place. Now we will need to plug the battery connector back in. Let's just push that in place. Then put tape back to secure the connector. Finally, we will now put back the back cover along with the 11 screws. Now for the moment of truth. Let's boot up the laptop and find out if I have broken it or have successfully cleaned it and applied a fresh thermal paste. The suspense is killing me. There we go. After 40 seconds, the laptop has booted up. It's alive. Let's log in and open the NitroSense app to see the temperature. Booting up, the temperature is in the mid-40s. Let's zoom into the NitroSense app so you can see. We are at 43 degrees Celsius. Before I replace the thermal paste, when booting up, the temperature of this laptop goes up to 80 to 95 degrees Celsius. Now it's just between 40s to low 50s. Almost half of the previous temperature. So I can say that my cleaning and repasting effort is a success. I can also feel the strong blow of the fan from the side and from the back of the laptop. 100% success. Wow. We now even reached below 40 degrees Celsius. Nice. Alright. That's it for this video. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.